hi you guys welcome back to my channel the ninth cup where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose this is going to be a reading for the north node in the sign of pisces if your north node is in pisces this reading is for you it is general just take what resonates and leave the rest there will be an option for you to purchase an extended reading um the links are down below you can purchase this video a la carte or join the soul purpose patrons over on ribbon and that just gives you access to all of the extended videos that i do for all the placements and any other type of workshop or tutorial style videos that I post will be over on ribbon as well <clears throat> excuse me it's just a few dollars more than the video itself just the extended itself um, and for those of you who are current subscribers welcome back thank you for being here and sharing your energy with me and helping me grow my channel for those of you who are new welcome my name is Karen Michelle Yearwood I'm an intuitive guidance counselor and I help people like yourself along your ascension journey so I'm gonna get a few oracles from the wisdom of the Oracle deck a few from the moonology deck and then we'll get tarot three cards for each house I'm gonna go around the wheel here and then in the instead in the extended we'll get some additional energies with more oracles okay for greater greater clarification all right, so let me see what we have here for you, Pisces. We have Mending. Oh, Aquarius got this. This was their first card out too. Um, I'm gonna put this here, let me see. My big clear quartz clusters, not sufficient. <laughs> um, what else do we have? The Tribe, Leo Energy, and Time to Go. All right, Time to Go, Six of Swords Energy. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Oh, yes. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the North Node, it is actually a placement in our natal charts that indicates um, energies around where our soul is meant to ascend to in this human experience. It can be wrapped around obstacles, challenges, fears, limitations, and um, <clears throat> It's actually paired with our south node, which is 180 degrees south of that north node. So for you, Pisces, your south node is in Virgo. And um, it's really about balancing both of those energies. It's not necessarily walking away from the south node or coming completely out of that energy. It's finding a great dance between the two. So for you, this is really about sinking into like your intuition, your um, spiritual prowess, um, connecting with a higher power, healing unconscious wounds and... <clears throat> getting to the root of any type of karma that could be um, showing up in this human experience, past life karma, past lives, um, trauma, things like that. So we have mending here, the tribe and time to go. So this is interesting energy here for you, Pisces. If I keep in mind the three card spread that I've been doing for all of these readings, which is um, embrace, accept, let go, you know, embracing, mending, you know, embracing your ability to heal, um, accept like the tribe that you come from, really accepting like roots and heritage. And um, time to go is like in the position of let go. So I think this is just like, you know, being able to move on from situations that no longer are serving you. There's a great, um, like in the collective, I mean, like just kind of like a great energy kind of permeating through the collective about cycles ending, um, things dropping up, big shifts, big changes. Um, it could be very uncomfortable for a lot of people. And if it is for you, I think Source is just here to say like, you know, you're going through like a deep metamorphosis. You could have other placements that are positively aspecting your North Node. <clears throat> And Pisces, I think Jupiter just retrograded out of your sign back into Aquarius. Neptune is currently in Pisces. Um, it'll be there until like 2026, I think. So those things, those um, planets are um, affecting your North Node kind of like long term because eventually Jupiter will go direct again back into Pisces and be there until be there throughout, I think, most of 2022. So here's your Moonology cards. Um, bring love into the situation. New Moon in Aquarius. We have believe in the impossible. Yeah, this is beautiful. And a fiery climax approaches. So there goes that um, cycle ending that I was speaking of. Full moon in Aries. Yeah, Pisces. So you're definitely kind of going through. This is almost like Scorpio energy. Some of you may have prominent Scorpio placements. Um, but this is definitely about deep transformations, honoring those endings and beginnings, and really pushing forward um, as best as you can to a new beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and go through each house now. Watch for your house placement of where your north node is. You will need your natal chart. You need your time of birth and location for that. There are free resources online. I use astro.com. I think Cafe Astrology um, offers uh, free charts as well. And there are other ones as well. If you just Google, you can get one um, for free. And they're pretty... Um, 
uh, pretty clear to read as far as getting those different placements. So you can uh, definitely locate where your north node is in terms of the house. Um, watch the, also your south node placement. So if you have north node in Pisces in the fifth house, watch the 11th house as well because those energies might bounce back and forth and kind of um, give you like a bigger, clearer picture of what's happening at this point in time whenever you're watching this. So let's go ahead and get to the uh, first house. We have uh, four of wands, that's Aries energy. The first house belongs to Aries and Mars. Um, we have the hanged one, that's your energy, Pisces. And king of wands, fire energy. All right, so this is beautiful. Um, <clears throat> this four of wands and hanged one, this is definitely seeing things from another perspective in terms of that family life I was uh, mentioning in the general or in the introduction here about kind of like honoring your tribe, you know, taking the wisdom and the lessons that you received from your family of origin, but seeing it from another perspective to give you the strength to really step into like King energy and, you know, into like a higher sense of maturation and understanding. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. I'm so sorry. My throat's kind of <clears> throat> groggy. Um, so this is definitely being patient with yourself, allowing things to kind of happen naturally. Um, waiting on that fiery climax believing in the impossible believing in your ability to also like bring in your own sense of foundation for yourself right seeing yourself as a leader really honoring like what it is you bring to the table how you improve the lives of others this is really great energy um i put your angel answers down we're going to flip them over in the extended and get more energies to see what else source has to share with us but i hope that's helpful second house we have and i'm using the uh what am I using? The Modern Witch Tarot deck. Ten of Cups. King of Swords. And the High Priestess. Beautiful. That's your energy, Pisces. So with this Ten of Cups, a little bit like First House, what I was channeling. With this Ten of Cups, it really is giving me a vibe of like, you know, happy family, you know, happy life. And with the King of Swords, it's using like... <clears throat> A great deal of truth and clarity you know the king of swords is like a no nonsense king so is the queen but the king is like you know the highest energy within this suit so it's about being um very much in your power and your truth um with this high priestess kind of being um reserved kind of um being very tactful in your words the second house is the house of taurus and venus so this is personal income what you value this is really standing true to those values kind of like getting really straight in terms of like your your income and like how you're manifesting being more clear on what that manifestation is you know it's i'm getting like a no no nonsense vibe here in terms of like what it is you value your comfort um, your possessions, you know, not allowing anyone to get in the way of you having what you know you deserve. Um, yeah. Now, as far as like that Ten of Cups, you're definitely like honoring like that your heart center as well. You're one of your uh, Moonology cards is bring love into the situation. So you're trying to like balance that, you know, love as well as that fierce um, protection and, you know, honor in terms of like what it is you really want for yourself. So this is beautiful energy. Here's your angel answers. We're going to flip them in the extended and get more energies to see what else Source has to share with us. But I hope that's helpful. Third house. We have, oops, page of wands. Could be an offer coming through, a message. Three of pentacles, collaborating, and judgment. All right. So this is a basically surrendering, you know, kind of letting things go, I think. But this page of wands, this is like a burst of creativity. And the, it's interesting because the, the um, third house is the house of Gemini and Mercury. And it's also the house of um, partnerships. I'm sorry, not partnerships. Well, it could be partnerships, but um, neighbors and siblings. So people who are kind of like-minded, who are going in the same direction as you. And this three of pentacles is really telling me that there could be like a new burst of creativity, something kind of like reviving itself, like maybe something that you wanted to to initially start with a group of friends or a group of could be siblings literally people you're related to it never really got off the ground and now it's kind of coming back around for it to have another spark um with this uh well with your middle um wisdom of the oracle card which was tribe this could be um getting closer to your tribe literally that kind of reconnecting um you know giving it a go like allowing yourself to really be uh, connected to others trusting others with your creative endeavors this is really beautiful to bring about like a new beginning um, also feel just like more deeply connected to people who understand you understand like your mission and your vision 
Here are your angel answers. We're gonna flip them in the extended and get more energies to see what else source has to share with us, but I hope that's helpful. Uh, fourth house, also of uh, Cancer and the Moon. We have the High Priestess, beautiful Venusian energy. Uh, Queen of Swords and the world, natural endings, right? So with this world card and this emperor, this is definitely like wrapping up a cycle like I was saying in the um, general. Um, birthing something new, Queen of Swords, you really maturing yourself, getting clear on what it is you want for yourself in terms of your home life, your foundation, um, your stability. This could be uh, maybe letting things go with within your family of origin. You know, with that Empress card, it's a very maternal energy. So this could be healing mother wounds. You know, with that Queen of Swords doing any type of cord cutting or you verbalizing your truths, really, you know, ending up a cycle that maybe has been ongoing for quite some time. Some of you could be going through a Saturn return. Um, you know, this is Saturnian energy with this world card or your first Saturn return, I should say, which is between 28 and 31 years old. So it's like, you know, going to this next level, going to like a higher level, um, you know, discovering what your truth is, verbalizing that, um, standing by it as tactfully as possible and as respectfully as possible. And I think there's definitely, um, you know, fertile ground that you're creating for yourself, like a new um, like platform to kind of catapult yourself into a new, um, yeah, a new public persona because your opposing energy is the 10th house, right? So this is definitely something great on the horizon. One of your monology cards is a fiery climax approaches. So this kind of is giving me that vibe with that world card and even with the Empress card. It's kind of like, you know, when women, um, when their water breaks and they're about to give birth, there's like, you know, right before the baby comes out, there's like the crowning part, the, the ring of fire, right? Which is very painful. So I hear, don't have any children. But yeah, and it's right before that child comes out. So you could be kind of like this in, in an energetic sense. Um, really beautiful, really transformative. Um, so here's your angel answers. I'm going to flip them over and get more oracles in the extended, but I hope that this is helpful. Fifth house, house of Leo and the sun. We have the page of swords, um, six of wands and the lovers card of Gemini. Okay. So a choice here, um, with this page of swords, you really have been doing your research, I think in terms of like where you can really be best, um, where you can get a lot of visibility. I'm getting that. Where you can get visibility or where your work can be recognized. Um, where you can really kind of um, kind of receive the like accolades or like the opportunities that you really want to. Maybe things have kind of flatlined for you um, in the recent past. Um, now, your mental monology card is believe in the impossible and also a fiery climax approach. So I definitely think something is on the horizon for you in terms of wrapping up like an old project or like kind of kind of pivoting out of like a product or a service you might have had and thinking of something new with this lover's card it's a gemini energy gemini is like very creative it's very multifaceted so there could just be like you know different ideas coming to mind different things that you want to engage in and again with that page it's like um researching learning something training or a message coming to you right this could be a message coming to you from maybe somebody who you wanted to work with maybe somebody that um you kind of connected with in the past and now they're kind of reaching back out they're reconnecting with you to get work done together to collaborate in some way um excuse me <laughs> with these oracles i gotta get one of those like card um things because uh this is not reliable all right sorry pisces fifth house here um yeah so i have your angel answers here i'm gonna flip them over in the extended we're gonna get more energies and see what else source has to offer. Um, but I hope that's helpful. Six house. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands. Ooh, a lot of movement here. And um, the Magician. Beautiful. There's this trend here with these houses. A lot of them have like one major arcana. A lot of the houses here have like two regulars and then or two um, minor arcana and then one major. So anyway, here in the sixth house, the house of Virgo, Pisces, this is your opposing energy. You have two knights. So this is like really strategizing, really getting to um, re really getting like the nuts and bolts of what it is you need to work on. You know, this is the house of daily routines, health and wellness. Um, 
your work, right? So there's the Knight of Pentacles, slowest moving Knight of the deck, but very careful, very Virgo energy. Um, there's also Mercurial energy here with the Magician card, and then the sixth house is Virgo. Virgo's ruled by Mercury. The Knight of Wands is more fast paced, so there's something that you really want to go towards, really something that's passionate, something that excites you. The Magician card here is you. Um, I think it's probably literally trying to like manifest whatever the result is or kind of um, putting in an order with the universe I'm getting right is like really um, so this is beautiful in terms of like North Node and Pisces really using that beautiful Piscean energy working with like full moons or moon cycles to bring in um, movement or any type of transit so you do have Neptune in your sign right now in Pisces so that could be definitely heightening your intuition with that magician energy here um yeah this is also trusting your divine downloads too this is beautiful um one of your uh, wisdom of the oracles was it's time to go and i think with the two knights here i think you know that it's time to maybe take action towards something but again it's like that careful execution and planning along with being kind of um uh like excited and kind of being um very motivated to go towards what it is you want to achieve so here's your two uh, angel answers we're going to flip them in the extended and get more oracles but if this is where i leave you i hope that's helpful seventh house house of venus and libra we have the king of pentacles <clears throat> Six of Cups and the Tower. All right, interesting. King of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Tower here in the sixth house. I mean, sorry, here in the seventh house. So, your North Node is here, Pisces. This is about you really. Um, Releasing, releasing anything from your past, I think something has recently come to um, into your, your knowledge or into your awareness that's kind of blasted an old belief around parents or, you know, father figures or just like any type of, um, you know, like the higher ups in your family. I'm getting that. I know the seventh house really isn't family. I mean, it is relationships and long term commitments, but I'm getting like with that six of cups energy, that's nostalgia, that's child energy in the tower here is kind of giving me um, a sense that something has been kind of like blasted out of like its position um, not necessarily the meaning of the cards here but again um, you have Neptune here in your sign and Jupiter has just transited um, retrograded out of your sign into Aquarius so Jupiter expands right and Jupiter's in Pisces which is actually its original um, Pisces originally ruled by Jupiter okay um, it expands and it goes um, deeper into like a deep knowing, right? It's high priestess energy. So I think something has like, it has been revealed and you've gotten like clarity on it. And that and now it's, it's a tower moment because it's like taking something that you've thought for a really long time, maybe since childhood and like has misplaced it. Um, so the tower moment is kind of the 3D, the six of cups and like this Neptune Jupiter transiting is kind of that high priestess energy, right? So maybe you have been getting like some insight, some divine downloads, some gut feelings. And this king of pentacles energy is the other energy that I'm channeling. It's like the person who you saw as such or the relationship you've had with that person is now changed in some way. We're going to flip over those oracles. And get more oracles to see what um what else source would like to share with us but i hope that's helpful eighth house four of pentacles nine of cups and the emperor card of aries all right, so kind of a little bit what I was channeling with the seventh house with this father figure, paternal figure. Um, eighth house is the house of Scorpio and Pluto. So you're in your um, a fellow water elements house here, Pisces. And I think right now you're a little bit hesitant to really open up and allow yourself to trust someone who's trying to be a leader to you, trying to be some kind of guide. Um, you might feel like they're blowing smoke up your ass or smoke and mirrors here. This came out, I think, for... Might have been Capricorn or Sag, eighth house as well. That four of pentacles is a little bit of resistance and reluctance to open up and allow yourself to um, kind of trust and, and invest, or um, you don't, you might not trust the value that that person's selling you. Nine of cups is a single energy. And if you look at the image in this card, um, she has her hands crossed. 
She's not open to receiving whatever it is this person is giving. And the emperor is known um, as the father figure um, in, within the uh, major arcanas. He's above all the king. So this could be someone who's, you know, kind of posing as a leader or a subject matter expert. This could be someone in family, somebody who you've known um, for quite some time. But if not, you know, I think, again, it's just somebody who's kind of giving you that, um, they're selling you on their expertise, but you're you're just not really open to it at this point in time. And that's good because it's good for you to trust your instincts, especially with this eighth house placement. Really trust what's coming up. Trust what source is trying to um, let you know. Trust all the, um, you know, omens and signs that are coming through. I have your angel answers there. We're going to flip them over and get more in the extended. But I hope that's helpful. This is where I leave you. Ninth house. House of Sag and Jupiter. Two of Pentacles, the moon, your energy, Pisces, as well as Cancer too. Cancer can be the moon as well. And Queen of Cups. So water energy here. Well, some water energy. With the Two of Pentacles here, this is definitely, uh, I think you're trying to choose between like, a passion and then maybe something that's a little bit more logical with the two of pentacles you know there's choices here not being clear about which one really suits you i think you really want to choose your heart um you want to follow your heart um and i think there's a little bit of uncertainty in terms of like how that's going to allow you to expand or maybe it'll be actually to expand a little too much and that's causing some fear to come up because moon is fears uncertainty shadowy energy and two of pentacles is being kind of at a crossroads in terms of where to invest you know where's the value and the queen of cups is like you know allowing your emotions to kind of guide the way but at the same time you know your south node's in virgo so that's very intellectual that's very much about the mind it's mercurial ruled so your north node here in pisces which by the way neptune is transiting over it neptune just retrograded out of it so you know there could be these like divine downloads it could be these um you know spiritual nudges coming through and you're just kind of wondering whether or not you should trust it i think source does want you to trust it um i have your angel angels now we're gonna flip them in the extended and get more in the um get more oracles in the extended but if this is where i leave you i hope that's helpful 10th house uh page of cups two of wands and the hermit virgo energy there's your south node um virgo so with this page of cups and this two of wands and the hermit this is kind of like ninth house what i was getting you know it's a choice coming up you could have received an offer in terms of like pursuing a passion project there's a two of wands though because there's literally the choice of staying in a comfort zone or taking a little bit of a risk the hermit card really wants you to slow down and think think things in terms of um both intellect and intuition you know how can you balance the two is there a happy medium um, is there a way that you can really um, safely embody who you are at the core what you think your mission is what you think your north node is as well as being um, I guess I don't want to say committed but kind of like without really destabilizing what it is what it is you have already worked really hard for because you know it's a page here and a page although you know it's an offer that's probably sincere it's a small offer right now it isn't anything that has like promise of growing into something really big and not to say that those the only those things are meaningful the things that are big but with your south node sitting in virgo it's like wanting the um the security and also wanting the the credibility to be there and i think that's probably not there so we're probably going inward right now to really think a little bit long on um, what the best choice is for you but there's just an option here comfort zone or kind of take a little bit of a risk so i hope that helps i'll flip those or angels over in the extended and get more oracles for more clarity hope um but if not this is where i leave you hope that helps 11th house house of aquarius and uranus eight of wands this is fast-paced communication movement travel ten of wands putting some burdens down a lot of sad energy here you could have prominent sad in your chart and the fool okay aries energy also aquarian energy too it's uranus and aries the fool it is 
So North Node and Pisces in the 11th house. This is about you really being probably some kind of spiritual leader or um, being a part of groups that have a similar mission, a vision. And I think you're going towards that, um, you know, confidently, not really knowing all of the answers. You know, one of your Moonology cards is believe in the impossible. And another one is... <clears throat> bring love into this situation which is new moon in aquarius all right aquarius energy is um one of your moonology cards you also have tribe as one of your wisdom of the oracle or wisdom of the oracle cards right so there's a great um, amount of energy in terms of taking a new approach to what you are um, affiliated with you know with the ten of wands it's kind of about Putting down, putting down any type of commitments that maybe were too heavy for you or taxing and like moving literally movement, right, towards what is. And full energy, again, it's like you're not going to have all the answers. There's a little bit of uncertainty here and that and uncertainty has kind of been a little bit um, blanketing the overall energies for this reading, Pisces, all the houses. And I think it's probably with Neptune sitting in your sign, Jupiter retrograding out of your sign. So there's just a lot of like shadowy energy, a little bit of fuzziness, but you know, that's okay. Cause I think it's bringing up to the surface things that do need to be clarified and things that do need action. So this is beautiful. I'm going to flip over your oracles and the extended and get more for more energies. But if this is where I leave you, I hope it's helpful. 12th house. Uh, we have, this is your house, Pisces, nine of swords. Seven of Swords and the Six of Swords. Wow, all these Swords energy. Okay, so definitely moving away from people, situations. This could even be your mindset, right? Toxic um, mindsets or you know thought patterns that keep you stuck. The Twelfth House is literally the unconscious mind, and the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Swords. All of Swords actually is about the mind, the headspace. But the Nine of Swords is insomnia, being up, not being able to rest rest your mind even rest your body seven of swords is like deceit this could also you like um sabotaging yourself like with with thoughts that are just not uplifting and the six of swords is movement out of that so this could be you getting um going deeper into meditation um you connecting with a group of people who can help you tap into your own energy your own strength in terms of manifesting and healing yourself we have, um, I'm going to put your, both of your angel answers down here, but, um, you know, a fiery climax approaches, believe in the impossible and bring love into the situation. Those are your moonology cards. So I think with the bring love into the situation, that's new moon in Aquarius. And that speaks to the group, the friendship circle that, you know, maybe could be coming in for you, or you could be strengthening that circle or that group of friends, really building up trust for people as you kind of go through, um, this, this time where you're releasing and you know neptune is here jupiter's retrograded out of your signs so there's just a lot of um deep spiritual and like highly intuitive highly um empathic even you know this is like sponge like energy i'm getting some of you could be really deep um empaths or at least that's what you're meant to really work with in this lifetime is those empathic qualities and strengthen them so that you can kind of use that ability to your benefit all right, so I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I'm going to go over to the extended, get more oracles, flip over these angel cards. But if this is where I leave you, thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your kind of thing, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I love you so much and be sure to thrive. Bye.